Well, can you really render a million rows or a million items on React at the same time? Is that even possible? Is React capable to handle that much data at the same time? Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and find out. So as we all know that rendering large amount of like data into the screen at the same time is very costly. So that means actually the browser won't be able to handle all this data. Plus, especially if the data is like updating like a GIF in here, for example, and you've got some like changes going on and state updates and all of those, the browser won't be able to handle large amount of data. And I got in here like an ad button here just to just like how it would react to state changes and like manipulating and changing that. So for example, add in here is just like going to be pretty simple and it's pretty performance and fast as well. So like how much like going to be added in here, you're going to always uh, going to have it right because there isn't much of an amount of data, just like 100 rows, right? So now if we look into like the code, for example, uh, this is actually the code imparting this as I before. It's just like a simple array. Uh, I put that in a state just to be able to control this. And we, of course, just like have a method to add a new to the list, basically. And we got a button and, of course, list.map. And this is like where the magic is actually happening, the rendering part. So we just do list.map and we got like row and we render each row of these. And, and that is it. It's just like actually straight to the point and very easy like that. So that's actually what we do in here. And as I said before, we only render 100 rows at the same time. Now, for example, let's say I'm going to go level up to 1000. And let's see how this is going to be doing. So I'm going to refresh. It took a little bit of time to render, but it's still actually pretty fine. And let's say now if you jump back in here to maybe 8000, uh, refresh, as you see, refreshing, it's taking longer than it actually should because it's localhost, right? It should be pretty fast. But I start seeing it goes off, right? There you go. Yeah, it doesn't render after 1054. And it's actually stuck uh, on top in here. And I can't I can't scroll anymore. And I get like the pages is, is crashed or something. And it finally did render that actually, actually after some time, and after a lot of performance coast and just like it took a little bit of like a couple of seconds for this to be rendered and it, the browser actually crashed before rendering this you see, this is the cost that comes along when you try to actually render a large amount of data all on the same time into the browser screen because JavaScript and the browser simply won't be able to handle that at the same time. So let's go ahead and push that even further. For example, I'm going to do 50k like 50,000 rows at the same time. And I'm going to refresh and I'm pretty sure in here pretty confident this won't be able to handle it and the browser is going to be crashing at, this, at like a moment from here. And um, I can still like go ahead and scroll up and down, but um, I don't I don't see that anything is being rendered at all. It's just like crazy. So uh, yes, the browser would definitely fail the test. I screw in here, just like it won't be able to do that. And if I can just go ahead and wait or exit pages, which of course I'm gonna clear that page because it doesn't work anymore. And we, if you put like the final test of a million rows at the same time in here, I'm changing the number in here to a million. Yes, of course, this is going to fail, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video because the video is said, oh, we want to go ahead and test a million. So will this even work or be able to render into the screen? Definitely not. The browser won't be able to handle all of those like React items being rendered and like state updated at the same time. As curiously, it just like fails immediately because a million is just like a large number for that. And React or the browser or JavaScript won't be able to handle that from the first place. So, so the solution to the problem of rendering like too many rows at the same time or tabular data or like large list of data as we did before is actually to use or utilize virtualization. And in the React word, I'm not talking about the other libraries or something only for React in here is actually there is two libraries I know for sure that would work absolutely fine. And they just like have a huge performance boost, uh, like compared to the standard approach. So for example, the React window would work absolutely fine. And it's a really nice lightweight library that allows you to, to do virtualization out of the box. It's pretty straightforward. And there is like the React virtualized, which is from the same author, to be honest in here. And this one is more of like advanced if you're looking for like advanced approach to virtualization and having list and having like full control over that React virtualized is going to be for you. So for us, I'm going to just go to React window because it's a lot easier and lightweight and very simple to use. And if you quickly go ahead and look at the demos provided by the React window in here, you're going to see like this is what it does is 
this is actually a list we're trying to uh, do a test for and this is like the API allows you to do that and like virtualization is actually kicking inside of this because it's hiding whatever is not visible in this part and it's only rendering this this like four rows in here which are visible to the user so to better understand it, virtualization and how it actually works and in this case of course we're going to be dealing with UI virtualization in particular so this is actually an example so for example let's imagine you've got a browser page and this is our browser page in here a react application and we got our list in here so list in here for example we are we have like item 21 item 22 and this is actually the border of the list right so these items 21 22 and 31st and 32nd are like out of the borders of the list which means they are not visible to the user so the user can only see this portion of the list in here and that's what is visible now virtualization utilizes this point of like what the user sees and what the user not seeing at the, at the current moments for like you know when it's scrolling so what it does actually only going to have this as a visible part so what the user sees is going to be rendered to the screen right and whatever that the user is not going to be seeing for example this one is going to be completely hidden and it's going to be unrendered it's going to be like completely removed from the dom and it's not going to be like rendered at all and as soon as like the user scrolls down or up of course it's going to do the calculation pretty fast because it's pretty fast calculations of course and it's going to render whatever is going to like the user is going to see next now let's go ahead and jump into the next example which is now we are using virtualization and I am using React window particularly. So if we jump to the source code, we only got 10 rows in here, of course, it would work absolutely fine. But let's go in and see the actual code that's actually empowering this. So for example, the virtualized in here, this is the component that takes care of rendering that. Now what I'm doing in here on top is actually I'm going to use the auto sizer, which is from the React window as well, like React virtualizer or virtualized auto sizer. And this will allow you to actually have the list to stretch out and take the full width and height of the web page. And that's simply what it does in here. So that's the virtualized one. And I'm going to go ahead and have have from the react window as you see like it's gzips right and you have 9.1 K which is amazingly lightweight so I'm gonna like have the fixed size list you can have a variable one but for us because we already know how many like number of like variables or how the count of our rows how many we've got we already know that in, in advance so we're gonna have like a fixed size one I'm naming it as list and of course, we're just going to go ahead and have and have that as a list. Now for this component, what it does, actually, you can provide it with an item count. I have this as a like a variable. So I can go ahead and of course, I can, I can like change that however I want, but it still works. Of course, you can choose this as a variable list or a fixed size list, it still works absolutely fine. Um, so the thing in here, what is going to happen is you provide it the count, right? And as soon as you provide the count, it's going to provide you with the props right it's gonna it's gonna do like the render props kind of like approach in here so it's gonna provide it with the props and it's gonna have this as a loop so every single time it's gonna render so like let's say here we got 10 right so it's gonna call this row in here it's gonna call it 10 times so you don't need to actually explicitly have the loop in here and render it every single time like array.map whatever but instead it's going to take care of that by itself and it's going to provide it with the index like the current index and the style which is mandatory that you need to provide it to the current elements that you of course you're rendering which is the row of obviously if you have a list and you need to provide it with that and of course you need to set the width of the, as well which is I'm just getting this from the auto sizer. So this is optional, you can remove it. But this is just for having like the full width and the full height of the current web page. Okay, awesome. Now, for the list in here, I'm going to go ahead and bump the version or sorry, bump the counts in here to like 50k or 50,000. So I'm going to use 50,000 immediately in here, try it out. Uh, I'm going to go in and save, go back, refresh, which should have been already done by HMR. But if I scroll down, Yes, I got 50,000. As you see, it's pretty performance, right? It's not hanging. It's not doing any weird stuff. But you may notice some some like blinking or going whitish kind of stuff. So as soon as I okay, scroll pretty fast, I'm talking about scrolling fast, like using the cursor to scroll. I see some white, but it just immediately comes. And that actually just like tells you that 
the things are not rendered yet and and they are like completely being rendered in the moments and the other stuff are completely hidden just to make the performance so let's go ahead and do like the final test for virtualization in here i'm gonna do like 1 million or even more i think you can handle more so 1 million with one two three four five six zeros that means we're in the million okay going back i think we already got a million in here uh we don't we don't okay so i'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna go back to a million and scroll the way down. But if you notice in here, we won't be able to scroll any further. We only got like 400 and like 400,000 in general in here. And it can't actually render a million. But even though it renders all of those, it's not like the performance that's stopping it from rendering. It's actually another thing. And I've actually do after doing some searching on Google and trying to figure out why this issue, because it doesn't seem like it's a performance issue. It's more of like a browser limitation of how many things or how many pixels can exist at the same time or can be rendered uh, on the screen. So after looking for that, I got some like thread on GitHub in here, or it's actually an issue. So somebody's saying like, oh, you can't actually render when I, whenever I get down the item size to 22, I get this number. And like, you know, the smaller you turn this item size to, uh, the more items you're gonna be able to actually render into the screen. And, and, and the actual author said, yes, this is a browser specific limitation and he links a comment. And of course, yes, this is a browser limitation that doesn't allow us to render as much of things as we could. So what I tried to do is actually go ahead and like turn this and make this go down. I'm gonna try to put this a million because I was testing a couple of different stuff. Um, and there you go, I was able to put a million. Of course, after stretching all of those together, now the GIF look absolutely horrible and you won't be able to see that, but we were able to actually reach a like a million. This is, this is crazy with all the emojis. 